it's your boy back with another video today we're going to be reviewing the nerf the nerf dino squad armor strike and the nerf dino squad triceroblast so what i'm going to be going over is how to reload it how to fire attachments and cool features and after all of that i'm going to be doing the firing demo so let's get into the review so first up we got the nerf elite 2 uh, the nerf dino squad triceroblast so the Nerf Triceroblast is a three shot smart AR system that's break action and hammer action. So, so yeah, what, how to reload it is you open the breach, load up three darts, close the breach, and then pull down the priming handle. Now you're ready to go. To fire, it's, it's, it's obvious, you aim, or hip fire it and pull the trigger. This is a springer, which means you must prime it every time before pulling the trigger, or else it won't work. So, so now moving on to attachments and cool features. So the attachments of this blaster, there are no attachments. You can't have an end strike barrel lug because there's it's a smart AR system. If you had an extra barrel lug, you have to musket reload every time. And no stock attachment point be because this is a built-in stock. And no tack rails because there's no space to put on a tack rail. So this is what is called a bare bones blaster, which means you can't fire, you can't put on any attachments at all. So yeah, now now looking at uh, cool features. So the cool features about this blaster is that it's hammer action, which means you can prime it by one hand. My brother has a different hammer action blaster. This is what is called a hammer action. This is the priming hand, you pull it on the back. So you, since it's hammer action, you can prime with one hand, which means you can do whatever you want with your other hand, dual wheel, or wherever you want. And also, another cool feature is that there's ammo holders in the built-in stock, which means, which means instead of grabbing out for your pocket, you can just, you can just take some from here. So yeah. And the last cool feature is that it looks like a, looks like an Argus from Call of Duty. Yeah, that's basically it. It just looks like an Argus. So yeah. Now moving on to the armor strike. So the nerf, nerf Dino Squad Armor Strike is is an eight shot cylinder fed action blaster with slam fire. So how to reload it? Um, first up, you take eight darts and then you fill up the cylinder, and then you pull down the priming handle, and you're good to go. To fire, it's just like the Armor Strike. I mean the the, the Tricera Blast. My brother has a pump action blaster, kind of like this one. So yeah, to to fire isn't it obvious? You aim or hip fire and pull the trigger. So yeah, now moving on to attachments and cool features. It doesn't come with any attachments. It doesn't come with any attachments, but there's there's a tack rail on top of here in the bottom. I don't know why you would ever put a scope there, but comfortable place to put a scope. Yeah, my brother has a Hawkeye. It's break action, just like the Triceroblast. And it's also pump action, like the hammer strike. So, yeah. Now, moving on to, to the cool features. So, the cool features about this, just like the, just like the, the, Triceroblast, it has ammo holders in the built-in stock. So when you want to reload, you can just take some darts in here instead of reaching out for your pocket. So yeah, now moving on to the firing demo. Firing Lunar Feely 2.0 darts. Firing Blue Extra Insanity darts. Doing slam fire. Surprised that didn't 